Hey YouTube, welcome to the next episode on integration. Today, we're gonna to look at areas between curves. It's actually very simple. We're just gonna apply everything we've learned already, but just to a very specific concept. So, to find the area between two curves, it doesn't actually matter if the shaded area is all above, below, or partially above and below the x-axis. You always integrate between the limits of intersection, the curve on top, minus the curve on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how it works in principle. So find the exact area of the shaded region bounded by these two curves. So I'm going to do it generically, then we're just going to apply it to a, another example. So here we can see I want to find this area. Now this area here is a mixture. Part of it is above and part of it is below the axes. So what I'm saying you need to do is you need to integrate. I'm saying you just need to integrate between the two points of intersection. Let's call it A and b so between a and b of the curve on top f of x minus the curve on the bottom which is g of x dx yeah so one thing you have to clarify is that this curve this shaded area is bounded only between the curve on the top and the curve on the bottom nothing else there's only two boundaries here so why is this the case? You might be thinking, well, I thought if parts of the graph are below the axes, it represents a negative area. Well, let's see what happens. When you evaluate an integral and then you substitute in the limits, you take away the curves, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a constant to both of these functions so that the area is still the same, but the whole thing is above the x-axis. So I'm just going to add a constant. Yeah, that constant, we know through transformations, if you just add a number at the end, it just shifts the graphs up by that value. So what it would look like is maybe something like this. Yeah, and I'm trying to find this area. So this area, the one on top, and this area are the exact same. This function here will be g of x plus c. And this function here will be f of x plus c. Yeah, all I've done is shifted both graphs up by c. Now, the question might, uh, now is, how do we find this area? Well, what we would first do is we would find out the limits, the beginning and the end. That's obvious. The next thing we would do is we would find the area underneath the curve on the top. Now, if you integrate, yeah, if you integrate f of x plus c between a and b, you would find this whole area. Yeah, you'd find this whole thing. So I'm going to write that down. You'd have the integral between a and b of f of x plus c. But we obviously don't want that whole thing. There's an area that we need to get rid of, this, this bit here underneath. So for that, we would integrate g of x plus c between a and b, and we would subtract it. Yeah, so we'd take this area away and then we'd be just left with that one. So from this, we will, let's add my d of x, we would subtract between a and b g of x plus c dx. Now, a piece of theory for you. When you're integrating two functions that have the same limits, you can just bring it all into one limit. So for us, it would be between a and b. Now you have to use brackets here because we have a subtraction minus g of x plus c dx. Now what's going to happen is when you expand the brackets, the constant, which will be minus, the constants cancel out and you're just le left with the integral of f of x minus g of x dx. And that's now shown. So it doesn't matter whether parts of it are below, parts of it are above, or even a mixture like this question. Theoretically, you can just add one constant. You can make that constant as big as you like just to ensure that all the graphs are above the x-axis. Then you're just integrating between the two fun between the two limits of intersection, curve on top minus the curve on the bottom. Yeah? So it's very, very, very simple. And you might ask, okay, well, what if the plus Cs are different? Well, 
if you add a different constant to both of those functions, so say f of x you add, I don't know, 10, and to g of x you add 5. Well, we can't do that because then the area in between them will change. Yeah, the gap between them will increase. So it has to be the same constant so that we're bringing all of it up by the same amount so that the area we're trying to find stays the same. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you're new here and you want more maths content, then please consider subscribing. If you're learning something, then hit that like button and comment down below to let me know what you want to learn next. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let's apply it to one question. So these are the actual um, functions in terms of the previous example. So let's do it properly. It says find the exact area of the shaded region bounded by the two curves. So we can see the curve on top here is this negative quadratic. And then the curve on the bottom is this positive quadratic. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find these points of intersection, which will form our limits. So we know how to find points of intersection. We equate the two functions. So 4x squared plus 24x minus 25 equals x squared minus 6x. This add everything over to this side, divide through by 5. So we have x and x. We're going to have 5 and 1, both negative. So x is 1 and 5. So we have 1 and 5. Now, we are just going to integrate between the limits of intersection of the curve on top minus the curve on the bottom, dx. So we get the negative of this is minus 5x squared plus 30x minus 25 dx. All right, so add one to the power. Then we do the previous number divided by the new power. Then we have add one to the power. 30 divided by two is 15. And then we get minus 25x between one and five. Now with the calculator, let's input this nice and quick. Okay, so we get one, two, five over three. All we've done is changed our substitution to minus 35 over 3. So our final answer is 160 over 3 units squared. And that's it, guys. So it doesn't matter whatever you apply this to, whether in next year when you do trigonometry, integration using trigonometry, or this year where we deal with quadratics only really, um, and even negative... Uh, reciprocals and all that stuff, whether when you identify that it is an area between two curves, you just find the points of intersection, they form your limits, then it's the curve on top minus the curve on the bottom. You integrate that, evaluate your limits, and that's it. So guys, that's it. If you learned something, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more maths content. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video where I look at some even trickier integration problems. I'll see you guys there. Peace.